Sit down, sit down. Motherfucker trying to eat my food. All right, watching uh, the extortion yesterday, the extortionist on HBO last night. I came to my conclusion I had it all along. There's a reason two GJs found Deshaun Watson innocent. Because they read the situation. They knew what was going on. These girls are lying to get paid. That's all it is. Even their attorney, when uh, so little Brian asked Anthony uh, Busby, Tony Busby, is there any way your clients can be, um, have any ulterior motives? You know what he said? I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> Didn't sound like a competent attorney. You know what an attorney, a real attorney would say that? He knew his clients were uh, uh, innocent. He would have said, oh, absolutely not. But he didn't. And watching them broad try to fake cry on television was hilarious. How many of them could watch that and think that Deshaun Watson's guilty is a moron? Um, I've seen Stephen A. Smith and the other guy today crying about it. The one guy said, we all know Deshaun Watson did something. We just don't know what. No, we don't know. But we do know he's innocent. So he's not guilty. Why do these clowns automatically think, even though they didn't charge him, they think he's guilty? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, think about this. They didn't even charge him, but they think he's guilty. It's embarrassing. And then what's your name? I, I just don't want other women to, to get scared to come forward. They're extortionists. They're not victims. Anyway, um... Them two women, the one girl says, uh, why she continue to work with Watson afterwards? She goes, I was worried about him ruining my business. Oh, okay. What a dumbass. And you can tell, Busby don't even care. Busby, he didn't care less about it. He just wanted to tarnish Deshaun Watson's image. He's got money. Go look at Tony Busby's Facebook. That dude's probably got like $10 million. He's rich. He's loaded. He might even have more. He don't care if he wins or loses. He just wanted to smear Deshaun Watson's name, and he did. He don't care about the women, trust me. Also, one attorney doesn't represent all 22 women. That's never, that doesn't happen. But this girl, Ashley Sewell, went to multiple attorneys that turned her down. I wonder why. So Busby took them all. So he, he basically recruited these um, extortionists to go against Deshaun. You know what? If he wins, he, pocket, he lines his pockets. If he doesn't, he got the Sean's na uh, Watson's name not tarnished. So, in closing, I don't tell the NFL to suspend him. He did nothing wrong. The consensual sex that happened were initiated by the massage therapist after the session. Now, last time I checked, being an adulterer is not a cr crime against the. Uh, the thing in the NFL. So, I don't see how the NFL suspends him. I'll tell you another thing Watson got going in his favor, too. People don't realize this, but one of the persons deciding his guilt was um, his crime or his uh, punishment is the next judge. She's a former judge. She'll see right through all the bullshit, just like the grand jury did. And I'll guarantee you. Honestly, I think the NFL is taking its time with this investigation. I think they already know what their answer is. I don't think they suspend them. I think they're like, we investigated. We didn't find any wrongdoing. I mean, basically, it's, do you believe them or do you believe him? And knowing Deshaun Watson like I do, I mean, guy's never had another problem. He's good with the community. I believe Deshaun Watson. It's not even close. Especially that Ashley Solis. She said she tried getting 100 grand off Watson. I think she was one that allegedly tried extorting it for 100 grand prior to, to all this happening. Um, no. What I'd like to see happen, I'd like to see the uh, criminal ch uh, charges go against these women for making this up. We need to look at this in the future because. This could happen to anybody. 
This could happen to Steve Kerr. This could happen to um, Steph Curry. This could happen to anybody. Because, I mean, literally, there is zero evidence. I mean, when you think about this, when you have a crime that occurs, there's some type of evidence. There's not one strand of evidence that none of this happened. That any of this happened. No crime, no video, no audio, nothing. It's just, I mean, think of it. Usually in a sexual assault cases, you got some type of evidence. There's nothing. I wonder why. Because it never happened. So the song will play a full season. And if the NFL wants to uh, appease sensitive fans, they might give them four games or reduce it to two, but I don't even see that happen. He's innocent. And, um, like I go, go look at Tony um, Busby when he says, um, I hope not. I don't think so. That That's all you need to know. You know what an attorney would usually say? Absolutely not. He don't even care because he knows it's a money grab. So, um, the only people that watch that last night and hate Watson are the ones that actually hate Watson. They're made for the pumper boys. So, Tim Bailey, I know you had to be upset watching that. Deshaun Watson, he won that last night. He won that convincingly. These women couldn't even fake cry. They tried to cry. They couldn't even fake cry. So, hey, I, hey I'm not going to lie to you. Years ago, when I had a back problem, I went to about, I went to about 10 different mass, masseuse or therapists. I went to 10 different massage therapists, right? I was trying to find the one that did it the best. And I kept switching. I could never find the perfect massage therapist. So, when people say, oh, he went to 100, whatever it was. There's a reason. People, when you're, you, you need to have people to know how to work on your body. So Watts is definitely innocent. And like I said, having a former judge deciding his guilt favors uh, Watson. Because she'll see right through the bullshit. She'll see right through the bullshit. Just think. These scumbags tried sending an innocent man to jail for nothing. Because they wanted money. I don't like the fact that in this country, you don't even have you, you don't even need to have evidence to tarnish someone's image. I mean, there was there was evidence against Robert Kraft. Not against there's none against Deshaun Watson. No, Deshaun Watson, we're behind you. We know what happened. I mean, when you look at the whole situation, this guy was laying down getting a massage. And these women, I mean, oh my, these women are just, ah. Oh, you can sue anybody these days. It's crazy. They tried fucking extort them. Go look at that video I have of Tony Busby. When he's like, uh, when he says, do you think there's any ulterior motives for these women? I don't think so. I hope not. What would a what would a uh, attorney say when he knows his clients are um? You know, what would he say? He'd be like, absolutely not. He don't care. He can care less about these bras because he knows it's a fucking money grab. He's there for the free publicity. I mean, this guy ran for I think governor or mayor or something like that in Houston before. He's there for the free publicity. And if he wins, he gets a nice chunk. If he loses, who cares? He's got money. Tony Busby's loaded. I don't like Busby. Because I follow him on Facebook. And he's a bragger. Napoleonic little guy. And he brags about everything. But the man's got a nice fucking life. He's got everything you could want. Although he got rid of a Land Rover for a Ford Bronco. That right there drops him down another notch. If he could get any lower. But anyway, Deshaun Watts is definitely innocent. I don't think he gets any games. And all you Mayfield Puffer boys accept it. Your hero quarterback got beat up by um, a stud quarterback.